can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. This must be it. Hey, Saray, do you know what this butterfly is called? Hmm, I've never seen one like this. This calls for... Hey, Dazzle! What? Do you know what kind of butterfly this is? <sighs> I'm not your personal encyclopedia. Ah, uh, don't be like that. Professor Dazzle, please? Do I look like a professor? What's got you so butterfly crazy all of a sudden? Don't you know? Collectors pay primo cash for these suckers. They stick them up on their walls with pins or something. With pins? Well, we may never know what you are, little dude, but I ought to bag you just in case. Wait! I just realized. It's a shame on you, Rose. Looks like a butterfly, but it's just a moth. Aw, moth. No one's gonna pay for that. Darn. Too bad. Shame on you, Rose? Oh! Shush. <laughs> Got it. Moth. Should be a vista point nearby. Oh, gorgeous! I wonder what kind of flower this is. Ah, so even you can get excited by this sort of thing. I'm a girl, and I happen to think that red flowers are badass. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hmm, an orchid, do you think? Correct. This particular variant is called an Edna. Uh, the same name as you! It's not just the name. Edna have low tolerance for heat and flourish best in breezy, shady areas. Those who raise them must take care not to give them too much water. Doesn't the daintiness and loveliness remind you of me? Hmm. So in other words... What are you doing, Mebo? Well, that's odd. It doesn't look all thorny and poisonous. I'll show you thorny. Ow! Cripes, Edna, you broke the skin! Little Mebo needs to learn some manners. I should have figured you'd be an expert on the Edna flower. It was something he told me once. My brother. Oh, I... I see. I'm sorry. I should have been more sensitive. No, it's fine. Give it your all! Mark, it's a Naga. Her main attack involves extending her nails. The front should defend and attack when it can. Its arts are powerful as well.
on instinct
What does it groom? You want to know? They take care of horses and... That'll do, thanks. Nice to be able to put my hair up with a barrette. how big rocks can get. No, it's not that. Okay, sheesh. Crazy how big boulders get. That better? Uh, I think Saray's more hung up on how the crazy big rock got into these ruins. Yeah, it clearly dwarfs the entranceway, and that doesn't even address the issue of why it was even placed here. <laughs> Maybe even hundreds of years ago. There were still folks like you who got a kick out of weird objects. Well, who says they hold it in here? Maybe the ruins were built around the rock and not vice versa. Hmm. That's it! This has to be a shrine to the rock itself! It's possible this rock was even a vessel. You can't fathom the true meaning of legends until you've seen their history with your own eyes. Oh, hey! Like what you and Maven were talking about. Yeah, but now I understand. It's not enough just to use your eyes. Thanks, Rose. Thanks for... When conventional thinking is hitting a wall, sometimes it takes people whose brains are wild and untamed. People like you. Uh, pretty sure my brain's standard issue? <laughs> she has no idea. I'm really being stared at. Well, I mean, it isn't. I guess that is kind of a whole point, huh? Very well. Say zero. Concentrate your attack. Here goes. Focus your efforts. Close the back. Here goes. Find your attack. Let's take them all down. Now it's getting to us. Let's drink bang. Aim and fire. Let's drink bang. Find your fire. Aim and fire. Here goes. Find your attack. Here it goes! Find 
Sure work hard. No, compared to what Saray goes through, this is nothing. <laughs> <laughs>